Hi everyone, welcome back to Bells Hoya. This is the second part of the series of uh, Hoya propagation. I would now talk about what is the best uh, or you know, most suitable media uh, to start to root these um, Hoya cuttings. So what I have here are some of my um, Hoya propagation cuttings um, that I have done. So I guess the question, as I mentioned in my last video, would be you know, some people use water, some people use moss, or you know, some other people just sort of uh, put the cutting straight into the soil, potting mix. So myself, um, based on my personal uh, experience, uh, soil potting, putting the cutting directly into the potting mix uh, doesn't really work for me. Only is because I cannot um, check uh, the status of the root, so I can't actually see uh, you know whether the hoya has uh, started to root. I cannot see the roots, so I can't really um, you know sort of gauge what's going on. And uh, you know, in terms of the watering, uh, it can be uh, a little bit difficult to predict because I cannot tell whether you know the roots has came in or not. Uh, because actually, if the hoya has started rooting, um, you should be a lot more careful about the watering in case you know you overwater and the new roots are you know are very sensitive. So that doesn't really work for me. You know, putting the cutting straight into the potting mix. Next, uh, I would like to discuss um, the media as um, moss, sphagnum moss. So I have here two cuttings. Um, Actually, this one is a, a, a very uh, a cutting that's um, done very well and it's actually growing uh, in this moss for quite a while already. And I have another one that's a new, uh, quite a new uh, cutting that's also grown in moss. Okay, so I'll talk about this one first. Um, this one, as you can see, is a Croniana um, Super Silver. And uh, as I mentioned earlier on with um, this one, uh, you know, if you do a, a, a four leaf kind of cutting with the aerial roots, um, we basically just sort of um, put it inside uh, a shallow kind of, um, a shallow kind of pot. Uh, it would be ideal if it's transparent so you can see the conditions of the roots. And um, just put the cutting, new cutting here, and just sort of pack it with um, moss so uh, it's actually really that simple you know just put it in the moss and um, I would usually uh, sort of mist the moss every day um, just to keep it lightly moist and uh, it would really sort of root up, it would root up very quickly um, because it already has uh, as I shared it already has area roots so usually within a week you would have like put up roots and um, I think what we just need to be careful is to keep it moist uh, but not over water yeah just lightly moist and uh, it actually does very well um, is in moss in my condition which is um, humid and hot over here so as I touched on I would use moss for a smaller leaf cutting with um, area roots. Uh, so for this particular croniana, I've used moss and uh, I would also use moss for like um, uh, a hoya like courtesy eye uh, with small leaves and um, uh, area roots as well. And the next uh, type of hoya that I will use moss for uh, would be um, you know hoyas that are generally known to be a bit more difficult to root. So I noticed that uh, for this kind of hoyas, they seem to uh, do better in moss um, than in water because I think the moss sort of mimics the natural environment of hoya. There's some air you know, in the moss. And, but it still keeps it moist. So, uh, you know, I think they tend to actually do well. I mean, I, actually, I don't, I don't know why, but uh, I see that this is what happens. So, uh, yeah, so for a more 
difficult or sensitive hoya usually I would use moss or like um, the wood, woody stem hoyas like a kaudauta, kaudauta, sumatra, you know I would also use moss and um, now I'll touch on uh, water as the media for rooting hoyas as you can see all my other hoyas are actually rooted in water and honestly water is really a, a very uh, easy uh, way to root your hoyas uh, of course you know you've got to make sure that um, the mother plant is healthy uh, that actually makes a very big difference if the mother plant is healthy and you know we do um, a cutting as what I shared early on in my uh, uh, you know first video uh, generally speaking the cuttings should uh, root in say two weeks yeah, um, I mean, of course, please keep the cutting, um, you know, away from direct sun and uh, try to keep the area, you know, um, quite humid, like at least 50% and above. And uh, yeah, usually they would root up. Um, so unless uh, the cuttings are already, you know, unhealthy from the start, like, you know, the mother plant is diseased or not doing well, um, then, you know, chances are, um, you know, might not be so high. Uh, it probably would be a 50 50 uh, percent so that's why um, you know if you see your hoya um, having some like yellow leaves or you know having some problems um, please get a cutting straight away you know do not wait for the mother plant to deteriorate to a bad state before you take the cutting that would be a little bit too late um, next I would also like to touch on how do we know that uh, you know the hoya is uh, cutting is ready to be potted? Again, uh, you know this is one of the uh, questions that I hear. So as you can see, I have quite a few uh, cuttings here, and um, I, I think it's not very clear. So I'm just gonna take it out um, to show everyone. So for example, uh, this hoya has already you know a lot of roots. This one is like way. Way, way, way ready to be potted up. So this one is ready to be potted up. Look at the healthy roots. So this one has been um, growing for about, I think, close to three weeks already. Um, next one is my Kimming Gianna um, Haya. And uh, this one again, <coughs> sorry, is uh, very, very well rooted. So this particular hoya is very um is a hardy grower in my condition so i know it would root up um, quite easily next uh, we have a cistentia splash here which uh, also is really very very well rooted as you can see in water and um, this one is a, a two node poly cutting and this one here is um, a, a two I mean a one note two leaf cutting and they all actually are doing very well and this cutting has been um, in the water for about I think uh, three weeks plus as well and is ready to be potted up uh, next we have uh, SP Borneo this one is a species from Indonesia uh, I have just rooted this for about I think about two weeks or so and as you can see is also uh, rooted up already uh, so this one is not um, these roots are not as many as uh, you know the previous ones but uh, actually uh, usually in this case I would pot it up because it's quite enough to me uh, but I just want to show the other one this one sorry guys it's not very clear uh, Okay, maybe I'll just take it out. Yeah, for this one, um, I would say uh, it might be uh, too new. So in this case, um, I would usually allow it to root a little bit more. Um, you know, at least allow the roots to be uh, say five cm long. This one is a little bit too short, and uh, we have another one here. Okay, this one is fine. This one is fine. Yep, just want to share with you guys. Um, next, we have my Verticillata Splash. 
if you have remember the last time um, my video of saving uh, my root rod hoya this is the cutting that i've got from that and uh, i have to say you know because the mother plant wasn't doing very well so um, that's a good example to share with um, everybody that because the mother plant wasn't doing well it wasn't a healthy plant that's why it's taking a bit of a uh, uh, you know it's quite challenging to root this hoya it's actually uh, you know harder to root it because it wasn't healthy you know at the start so even though it has been uh, you know rooting for about I think two weeks it's actually still you know not rooted up for two of the cuttings and one of them you can see it is um, starting to root up but it's a very slow process and um, another thing I would like to share with everybody is um, as I shared, uh, sometimes it's very interesting that, you know, even though we put the root, I mean the cutting in the water here, and this part here is not um, in the water, sometimes the roots will form on top uh, because they would still get the humidity from um, you know, the surroundings. So it is very important uh, to keep the surrounding humid because sometimes the hoya would root um, you know, up somewhere that is not within the water but above if the conditions are right. So this is also actually very helpful to speed up uh, the rooting process for uh, the hoya. Yeah, I just want to share this interesting um, fact that I see and noted. And so I would like to share the actual place where I put my cuttings uh, just to give everybody a sense so as I said uh, humidity is very important so I do group the cuttings um, you know together with a lot of my other plants so um, there is actually a lot of humidity uh, and you can see uh, these are my cuttings in moss um, as I explained the more difficult cuttings will be in moss and uh, this is another example. This one was, um, this is a Hoya Pubicalex that uh, the mother plant was doing, uh, you know, dying and not doing well. So when I rooted it up in water, it didn't um, do well. So I had to put it in moss and now it's um, perking up. And this one is another example. Uh, yeah, and I just want to show you guys, uh, this is where I actually put my cuttings. So I have some more here that are in moss. And uh, for my cuttings in water, they will be placed over this side. Again, uh, they are grouped together with a lot of uh, my other plants. So the humidity is very high. And uh, this area is brightly lighted. This area is brightly lighted, but uh, it's away from the direct sun. This is another example. Yeah, I just want to show you guys uh, where I actually, you know, put these cuttings. And I hope the information has been helpful and, you know, to share some of my experience with everyone. So I would be making another video on how to pot up these cuttings that are ready. Actually, some of them are, as you know, more than ready. And uh, as I pot them up, I will share them with you in the next video. So do stay tuned and subscribe uh, if you are interested to follow um, you know, the journey of the cuttings. And um, once again, thank you so much for your lovely support. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!